Hello dear gamers, Yorkfield here and today we are back for a brand new walkthrough on this channel. By reading the title of this video you're probably going to tell me Hey Yorkfield, you're turning into a fucking weeboo and all of that shit. Well, I'm actually an extreme weebo already for quite a long time now. If you don't believe me, just go ahead and look at the description of my channel, on my second channel and my main channel. It's written that I'm an extreme weebo. Anyway guys, we have a brand new walkthrough that is finally here for you guys and we're going to do a walkthrough on Tokyo School Life another visual novel so you probably remember the previous episodes where I've played Doki Doki Literature Club and I finished it and it was one of the best games I've ever played and it was genius horror and it made me cry several times well I heard that Tokyo School Life is a dating simulator another visual novel that can apparently make you freaking cry or something like that at some stages. Anyway guys, enough talking, let's play Tokyo School Life for the very first time. Greetings from Naruto Airport. My name is Yorkfield Zaisho. I placed my feet on the ground in Japan. Finally, I'm in the country I've admired so much for so many years. The plane arrived just before sunrise. As soon as I disembark, I immediately notice a difference in the air. Even this early in the morning, it's warm and humid. So this is a Japanese summer. For now, I'll just snap a photo on my phone and there we go. Uploaded. Huh. I can just imagine the frustrated looks on the faces of all the guys in high school who said I'd never make it. I gotta post this again when they're awake. I'm feeling woozy from jet lag, but I can't wait to see what happens next. I'm completely beat, but I'm just too wired to sleep right now. Alright, no time to waste. I roll my suitcase full of belongings towards the bus stop. My destination is Okawa City in Western Tokyo. I'm gonna attend the private school, Keiyakidai High School. My high school back home has a long history as the sister school of Keiyakidai High School. Every year, they select the applicants with the highest grades to spend two months as an exchange student in Japan. This year, it is my turn to take on this historic privilege. I'm so crazy about Japan that I started studying Japanese on my own, so when I heard about this godsend system, I was overjoyed. After that, I just studied my brains out like I never had before. All my hard work paid off, and now I'm in the country I've admired Japan. Okawa bound bus, here it is. That is a direct bus from Narita airport to Okawa station. I was worried that if the plane was late, I would miss the bus and have a, to take a complicated train route instead, but it looks like I made it in time. I'm so excited! As the express bus departs, I sink down into the comfy seat and relax. Soon both my mind and body are at ease. Japan is so cool. So many unique and exotic cultures that their roots here have their roots here. Harajuku's fashion culture, Akihabara's otaku culture, Shinjuku's yakuza culture. I can't wait to see all of them. But there's something I'm looking forward to even more than all of that. I hope I can get to know some cute girls. My Japanese sensei said foreigners, or as the Japanese say, gaijin, are total babe magnets in Japan and that he dated a bunch of girls while he was here. I'm not gonna be all greedy like going out with more than one girl, but I hope I can make friends with a delicate, kind and lovely, lovely Yamato Nadeshiko, the ideal Japanese girl. If possible, we could get close enough to become pen pals after I leave, and then eventually we could become more than that. <laughs> to make that happen, I can't mess up with this first day of school. I gotta make a good first impression so everyone knows I'm friendly and approachable. I'll do my best. <sighs> no way! I'm at Okawa station. I frantically look back and forth from the time on my phone to the clock at the station. No mistaking, they match. I plan on arriving at school 30 minutes before class starts to meet my teacher. So I scheduled things with time to spare. Oh no, I'm gonna be late at this rate. The bus driver explained that there was a traffic jam on the freeway. He should have woken me up. 
Well, I guess even if he did, it wouldn't have made any difference. Okay, I really gotta book it now. There's probably a bus that goes to the school. Even though I'm a decent at speaking Japanese, reading and writing aren't my strong points. Rather than try to figure out the public transportation in a country I'm not used to, I'll believe in the power of my own two legs. I quickly shove my bulky suitcase in the rental locker at Okawa Station, back, pack a few necessities in my messenger bag and sling it over my shoulder. Okay, all set. Okay, let's input the coordinates for Teyaki Dai High into my phone's map. With a few taps, the route to school pops right up. I do this all the time back home, but somehow using the same features in another country feels more impressive. It's supposed to be a 20 minute walk, but I gotta arrive in 10 minutes. Okay, time to be a man! Uh, this is raw. I'm feeling dizzy. It's such a workout. I feel like I'm gonna puke. I've hardly slept and it's sweltering out here. I read that summers in Japan are humid, but I didn't think but I didn't think it'll be this bad. I can't stop sweating, it feels nasty. Ugh. No, no, at times like this, I gotta think about something fun. This is like a stereotypical scene in Japanese manga and anime. A girl running with toast in her mouth saying, I'm late, I'm late, and then she crashes into a boy who's also running and BAM, love blossoms. What's the deal with that anyway? Why does Japanese fiction always use that same old trope? Is it some kind of artistic tradition? <laughs> yeah, it's always a corner just like this, and they're running like I am. <laughs> Holy crap! Yeah? What? Ow! What the? I crashed into someone? Man, what are you doing? Hmm, what's this? Something warm and soft. Huh? What? Ah! 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 Huh? What? What the? Just where do you think you're touching? You turn! Huh? I realize my situation as I try to get up. I'm positioned on top of a girl I don't know. Like, I'm embracing her, I guess, since I was moving around in this position. <laughs> what? Let's calm down and take a good look at the situation. Okay, so right now, I'm on a road in Okawa, Tokyo. I knocked over a girl, and now I'm hugging her? This is really bad, isn't it? <laughs> Die, you molester! Ugh. The girl's knee shoots straight into my gut, or should I say my solar plexus. I can't breathe. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Grabbing, grabbing a fragile maiden such as myself all of a sudden? Ah, uh, yo, you're calling yourself a fragile maiden? Mind your own business. A sexual harassing jerk. This is a crime. A crime. Got any excuses? If not, I'm gonna call the cops. She pulls it out of her phone and starts tapping it. The cops? Police? Keisatsu? No, 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 no. This is bad. Very bad. Real bad. Do you have any injuries, miss? I don't seem to have any. English? Sorry, I'm in a big hurry right now. Let's both try to be more careful. Mm, uh, hey, don't, don't try changing the subject. You were just speaking Japanese a second ago. Ah, wait, I'm sorry, I didn't mean anything by it. But no matter how you look at it, it really was just an accident. I raised my hands in apology. What are you doing with my, your hands? She takes a guarded strength. And, and what's with the panting? No, I just... When I try to explain that I'm just out of breath, I take a good look at her, and I'm instantly enchanted. The girl is incredibly hot. <laughs> the... <laughs> her facial features are gorgeous and well defined, and her body is slender and tall. <laughs> 
Japanese girls are cute, but she is on a whole different level. I wonder if she's a model or something. In particular, my eyes are drawn right into the volume of her chest. Oh no. Please no. She silently tugs on a small gadget hanging from her bag. At that moment, a really loud noise starts blaring. What is this? Some kind of alarm? My sensei taught me about saying they have in Japan. Discretion is the better part of value. In other words, in a hopeless situation, just give up and get out of here. Time to run like the wind. Hey, don't run, you criminal. Get back over here and wait for the police to come. Sorry, it really wasn't on purpose. I'll apologize later. Just please let me off the hook for now. I'm not a criminal, okay? I'm not a criminal! Oh man, this is the worst. Oh, I finally made it. My unexpected detail made the trip take even longer. Man, I feel like I'm about to drop dead. But thanks to my speedy escape, I'm not late. Just one minute until class starts. If I go straight to the classroom, I can make it just in time. But man, I know it was my fault too. But what was that girl? With that girl, everything would have been fine if she just listened to me for a second. I thought Japanese girls were supposed to be gentle and kind. She was taller than the girls in my country. Tougher, sorry. Sensei, isn't just isn't this just a little different than your stories? <coughs> I think about that as I run, which distracts me. <coughs> huh? Wait, wait, I can't stop. Within a crash, a girl runs down the stairs at top speed. At this rate, she is on a crash course right to me as I run down the hall. But I, Yorkfield Saisho, won't make the same mistake twice. Ha! Oh my god, that jump scared me again! I quickly slam on the brakes, stopping with expert precision as the girl lands safely onto the floor. I don't even bump her slightly, however, my mistake is tensing up and gripping my right hand tightly. By the way, I didn't mention it, but it I was really hungry before. The in-flight meal was some nasty fried fish that was too gross to stomach, so I stopped back at a convenience store earlier and bought a sandwich and some black tea. Japanese convenience stores sure have a wide variety of stuff, it's great. The lettuce and ham sandwich I got was yummy, well, maybe a bit expensive for how small it was though. What I'm trying to say is... Well, I have a tea in a juice box in my right hand. In my right hand that I squeeze tightly. <laughs> what? Bad. This is bad. <laughs> huh? <laughs> What's this? This is entirely my fault. It's gonna stain and smell too. I gotta apologize. Um, uh. Ah, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Fun fact, guys. Even though the characters do speak Japanese and you probably don't understand or very little what they're saying without reading the subtitles, I actually do understand partially what they're saying. Like she said, Gomendasai! Gomendasai! Which means I'm sorry or I apologize. So yeah, I do speak a bit of Japanese because I'm studying Japanese so I can live in Japan later on. Wait a minute. What's going on? I think spilling tea on someone is definitely trouble. Shouldn't I be a one... Apologizing here? Uh, huh? A gaijin san? Uh, oh gaijin no. Is gaijin an offensive word? I'm sorry. Uh, Wait, do you understand Japanese? I'm sorry. I was in a rush, so I wasn't looking at where I was going. Are you okay? Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm sorry. I usually look where I'm going. I happened to be in a big rush today. Usually, I don't go three steps at a time if I was going two steps at a time. I could have stopped right away, I'm sorry, I was rushing. Anyway, I was just really in a big rush. I'm really sorry. Oh, this? Yeah, it's okay. I've heard of people talking to me so Okay, see ya. I'm really sorry. She bows formally and then turns down the hallway. She apologized so much I couldn't squeeze in a word. 
I thought for sure she'd get mad at me like the last girl. Apologize or get mad. Which is it? I don't get it. I don't get Japanese girls at all. Sensei, Japanese girls are deep. Communicating with them doesn't go as easily as you said. I'm getting my spirits broken from day one. Huh? What? Class is starting? Oh no, it's already time for class! Sorry, I'm late. Oh, you must be Yorkfield Zaisho Kun. I was just going. I was just talking about you. Do you understand Japanese? Yes, it's no problem for me. That's good. We were just talking about you. I was getting worried you might have gone into some trouble. Oh, nah, I'm just fine. My bus was just running late. Hey everyone, this is the exchange student Zaisho Kun. Please make friends with him and try to learn about each other's culture, okay? Zaisho Kun, can you introduce yourself? Thank goodness. It looks like I made it in time somehow. Now it's time for my ever important first impression. I have to implant the idea into them that I'm the friendly gaijin who can speak Japanese. Everyone, nice to meet you. I'm Yorkfield Zaisho. When I raise my head, all eyes in the classroom are on me. Wow, they all have black hair. Well, of course they do. They're all Japanese. This is a lot of pressure with all these people with the same clothes and the same hair staring at me. I took a plane overseas and I just arrived in Japan this morning. I like Japan and I've always admired. Huh? Haven't I seen that face somewhere before? <coughs> ah! The guy who molested me earlier. What? Wait, wait, wait. This is bad. Very bad. As bad as it can get. Oh no, all my classmates are gossiping about it. Oh. What's the matter, Aoi? Um, uh, it's... No way. Don't tell me he's also the one who spilled tea on you, hey. What did you do to my cute little Aoi? You pervert! Oh, goodness. The mumbling in the classroom gets louder. I can hear them whispering. Pervert! Pervert! No, no, I'm not like that. Um, Zaishukun, and also Yayoi and Hazuki. Could I have a word with all of you in the faculty room? I'm telling you, I'm not like that. Okay, so the waifus think I'm a pervert. By accident. The lunch bell rings. I'm so hungry I can't stand it. But at the same time, I don't have the will to go eat lunch. The tall girl is Yayoi Karin. And the small girl is Hazuki Aoi. I explain everything to the teacher and settle the misunderstanding. The teacher agrees that it was an accident so no one is at fault, but the atmosphere in the classroom is still awkward. Yayoi san is trying to guard Ayoi san from me, and when we make eye contact, she grits her teeth. The other classmates are watching too. They all keep their distance from me. Why did things turn out like this? My Japanese high school is supposed to be full of fun and excitement. Good morning, everyone. Her voice is like the sound of bells ringing. A girl with impressively long hair reaching down to her lips, hips enters the classroom. I don't remember seeing a girl like that in this morning. Wow! Kawaii! Oh, Minazuki-san, good morning. Late again today, huh? Were you at the hospital? It must always be so hard on you. ありがとうございます。でもいつものことで慣れていますから。よろしければ午前中のノートを見せていただけませんか。ありがとうございます。でもいつものことで慣れていますから。よろしければ午前中のノートを見せていただけませんか。ありがとうございます。でもいつものこと
What is she gonna say to me? Nice to meet you. Do you speak Japanese? Oh、And、my god. Please speak whatever language you prefer. Oh, okay, she does speak English. That's good. Good job. Um, okay, Japanese then. Kokan r y u g a k u de i r a s t a kata d e s n e Asa wa h u z a i de go asa to de k i t u n i t s u d e s h i m a s t Please excuse me for being absent. Minatsuki Sakura to m o s h i m a s I was unable to make your Kwan acquaintance. I've never heard of that word before. I'm Minazuki Sakura. It's a pleasure to meet you.、Um, did you hear people saying rumors about me? It seems like you had an unfortunate meeting with Karin san. I don't judge people based on others' opinions. If you have any problems, please don't hesitate to ask me for assistance. Thank you, thank you. Without thinking, I shake her hand. This is the first time I've been treated like a human being since I arrived in Japan. She really is the ideal Yamato Nateshiko. Yeah, I do have a Japanese accent for names since I studied Japanese. Jeez, what a bummer. Seriously, why did things turn out this way? Is this karma kicking my butt because I was too hung up on meeting cute girls? Even so, this is too much. I really just want to have a normal, happy school life in my beloved Japan. After school, some of the other students, beside Minazuki san, Start talking to me. In time, we could probably become friends, but I might have to go back home by then. Two months is too short. Maybe I'll go to the bookstore to lift my spirits. I love Japanese manga. The dynamic compositions, charming characters, exciting twists and turns, and just a little bit of sexiness too. <laughs> All these elements. Come together to give Japanese manga a different charm from, than European or American comics. Japanese has two phonetic alphabets called hiragana and katakana, and one logo logographic set of characters called kanji. Kanjis, by the way, are Chinese characters that the Japanese brought from China a long time ago. I think it was in the 6th century or something like that. The kanji, in particular, are really tricky. You might need to know several thousand. Or For a, even a typical day's use. Even though I can speak Japanese decently, reading and writing is still a challenge. It's even a nightmare for kanji. That's why I usually buy the English versions of manga, but now I've come all the way to Japan. While I'm here, I should buy some manga in the original Japanese language. I start up the map app on my phone and search for a nearby bookshop, which points me towards a large bookstore right away. Man, this app is really a lifesaver! In the front of the bookstore, I see a promotion for a certain manga and I don't believe what I see. The new volume of Samurai Maiden goes on sale today. Samurai Maiden. It's a really popular historical manga published in monthly Shonen Club magazine and also happens to be my all time favorite manga. The main character is Saigo Takamori. He is a historical figure who lived in the mid 1800s, which is known in Japan as the Edo and Meiji periods. During that time, Western European countries pushed for the leader of the Edo shogunate to open the borders of the samurai nation of Japan after 300 years of isolation. However, the regent Edo shogunate wouldn't budge so easily. There were men who tried to remake Japan to be as strong as Western European countries by overthrowing the shogunate and reinstituting the emperor. Saigo Takamori was among the heroes who supported the changing times in Japan. By the way, this is all second hand knowledge I got from Nuipedia. And so, Samurai Maiden is a what if historical manga that wonders what if Saigo Takamori was a lovely girl? In the manga, as the last heir to the Saigo name, Saigo Takamori was raised as a boy in Satsuma domain. She was nicknamed Saigo chan. The contrast between her cute, small appearance and her stoic samurai heart is so awesome. Samurai Maiden is getting really famous all around the world. I'm a big fan of Saigu chan. I have all the comics translated into English, but the English versions always come out months after the Japanese releases. It can be pretty frustrating. Since it's getting an anime version this summer, there haven't been any new releases lately, so that's it. I heard that a new volume was going to finally come out, so it's today. This is Destiny! New volume! New volume! The shelves. At the front of the store are empty, huh? Isn't that just a little too fast? I've got a bad feeling about this. Excuse me? Yes? 
The saleswoman looks surprised for a second when she sees me, but then quickly smiles again. Do you have comic? Do you have the comic Samurai Maiden? Are you looking for the new volume? Yeah, I can't seem to find it. I'm sorry, it sold more than we expected, and it was almost gone by this afternoon. Oh, I see. Oh no. But even though the display in the front is empty, there should be some left on the bookshelf towards the back. Thanks, I'll look. My pace quickens and as I hurry towards the bookshelf, she mentioned, For the love of God, please let there be at least one copy left. It's here! The words Samurai Maiden shine on the book's spine. No mistake, this is the long-awaited new volume, and it really is the last one. That was close, I just made it! Hello? Oh, I remember. This is one of my backgrounds. I used this image in one of my backgrounds. I remember that. Sakura says, Oh, Zaisho san? Huh, Minazuki san? What a coincidence. Uh, yeah, I just found a manga I wanted. I'm just gonna buy this and get going. I have the new volume of Samurai Maiden in my hand. For some reason, Minazuki-san also raises her hand towards it. I lightly pull on the manga. She lightly pulls right back. Minazuki-san, you came here to buy Samurai Maiden too? No, 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 no. What? Whatever you mean. Samurai Maiden I, I, I don't know hardly anything, anything about Samurai Maiden. Oh my god, okay, she hardly talks when um, she's blushing. Ooh. Then, you, could you let me have it? I'm a big fan of this manga. It's the first new volume in a while, and I've really been looking forward to it. Big fan? Big fan? I pull on a bit harder. She pulls a bit harder right back. Ji uh, Ji actually... Minazuki-san? Actually... I, I have a sick little sister. Huh? My little sister is in the hospital and reading Samurai Maiden is the only thing she looks forward to today. I was planning on bringing her a new volume. She, she can hardly wait to read it. Wow! Oh no! Oh, you should have told me sooner. I could just buy it later. Thank you. My si sister will be very happy. You're a good big sister, Minazuki-san. Tell your little sister I love Samurai Maiden too, and that I hope she'll get healthy and strong like Saigu-chan. Oh, okay. Thank you very much. Well, then, goodbye. I see her off, waving as she goes. Damn, it sure feels good to do the right thing. Alright guys, so after playing around half an hour of Tokyo School Life for the very first time on this channel and for the very first time in my life, I actually really, really like it so far. Usually visual novels are boring in the beginning, you know, like DDLC didn't have many things in the beginning, much going on, if you know what I mean. But Tokyo School Life actually has quite a, some things going on that made me laugh pretty hard, not gonna lie. And also, the moment where I accidentally slept on that uh, girl, I think it was Karine's boobs accidentally, and the game making me look at her chest, definitely got me so good. That made me laugh at the beginning of the game, so yeah. It was a cool game. Apparently, it is one of the only visual novel games that have no or next to no adult content except from like the chest. <laughs> so yeah, that's a cool game. We are definitely going to do more episodes of it on this channel. Just like we did for DDLC, we're gonna do it all the way to the end. Thanks for watching the first episode on Tokyo School Life. We'll be back either in the next episode or in another video like an EXE game or any other video that we're gonna do, uh, that we're gonna do on this channel. So, thanks for watching, stay safe, take care, peace, bye!